Yeah. Uh, you've been listening to this wonderful bassist, Hilliard Green. Um, how many years are we working together now? You, you just got the next gig. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, we're going to feature Hilliard on um, this great tune called In a Sentimental Mood. Also, we do going to.
so pretty. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it will from the sublime to the ridiculous. Um, <laughs> a few years ago, I wrote a tune called, Are You Ever Going to Agree With Me? And it's dedicated to he knows who it is. <laughs> and it's called simply, Are You Ever going to agree with me. Edward.
It's up fun, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, <laughs> we have some special guests in the audience, uh, one of whom is a very dear friend of mine, and he plays a mean saxophone, and I'd like Jerry Mandel to join us for this one. So um, most mallet players, not all, we have a very distinguished mallet player in the house right here, Larry Keller, great player, vibe player in Marimba. Give me a hand. Um, so a lot of mallet players, but not all pl players, play the vibraphone, which is the metal keys, which you've seen. It's got the little thing that turns around and makes it vibrate. And there's some vibe players, like Larry, that play with, without the, the motor. But when I'm not using motor, I just prefer marimba. But um, marimba is made of rosewood keys from Honduras and um, some, uh, some neighboring countries. And, um, you know, normally when I tour with Lenore, I uh, endorse Yamaha and they get me a product. But right now, shipping is real low all over the world for any kind of part. And I, they were not able to get me a vibraphone, so I called my friend Alex Burke in Los Angeles, who is a vibraphone and marimba player, and he graciously lent me his marimba. He's currently writing for Natalie Portman's new series on Apple TV, a seven series. But anyway, it's, uh, you know, there's a long debate. Um, some music historians think it started in, in China, and there, but there have been some really, really old instruments found in the dirt also in South America. So they're not really sure where it originated. And it substantiates the idea that maybe at one time the continents were connected. But anyway, that's the history of the marimba. And of course, the vibraphone came around later in 1920. But you're here in marimba tonight, which is a little rare for clubs because they're kind of hard to move around. Want to help me after the gig? Thank you. 
I were a bell. It's ringing. <laughs> Must be a cue, right? <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to feature Steve on the marimba playing a beautiful ballad called The Nearness of
people are um, moving on. The great bebop players back in the 40s uh, wrote some great tunes, and their tunes were actually based on standards for on our great American standards. And this is one of them, and it's called simply Jordu, J-O-R-D-U.
Thank you. <laughs> We're full of special guests this evening. And another really good friend of mine is right there. Some of you probably know him. Mr. Jack Wood. Straight back from Salt Lake City yeah. last night. One, two, three, four. Oh, cool. Nice. Thank you. Good sound in chair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, she is. Yeah. Go, go with it. Go with it. She is a wonderful sound person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are we okay? Okay. You're killing it, Golden. You're golden. Would you come for that? Sure. Okay. Well, this I'm is the ready. Halloween season. So I thought I'd come out here a little soon, but uh, makes a lot of sense. It's, a, it's an opportunity to understand why we're here. Those fingers in my hair that sly come here the stair that fit my conscience bare is witchcraft and i've got no defense for it the heat is too intense for it what good can common sense for it do cause it's witchcraft wicked rich craft and although i know it's strictly taboo when you arouse the need in me my heart says yes indeed in me proceed with what you're leading me to well it's such an ancient pitch but one that i wouldn't switch because there's no nicer witch than you. And here's Lenore. Lenore Raphael in my hair that sly come hither stare that strips my conscience bare it's witchcraft and I've got no defense for it the heat is too intense for it what good can common sense for it do cause it's witchcraft that crazy witchcraft and although I know it's strictly taboo, when you arouse the need in me, my heart says yes indeed in me. Proceed with what you're leading me to. Well, it's such an ancient pitch, but one that I wouldn't switch, cause there's no nicer witch than you. Wigan witchcraft. Happy Halloween. Sure. How about it? How about the 
Avery and G. Okay. Gee, she's going to let me do another one. How about that? Yeah. Okay, this is a famous Barbara Streisand tune that I'm going to do with her. On a clear day, rise and look around you, and you'll see who, who you are. On a clear day, how it will astound you, that the glow of your being outshines every star. you feel part of every mountain, sea, and shore. You can hear from far and near the words you've never heard before. And on that clear day, on oh, that clear day, you can see forever and ever more. Here's Lenore. And Steve. Steve Hobbs on the vines. No Raphael, on a clear day, rise and look around you, and you'll see who you are. On a clear day, how it will astound you, that the glow of your being outshines every star you feel part of, every mountain, sea, and shore. You can hear from far and near the word you've never heard before. And on that clear day, on that clear day, you can see forever and ever and ever and ever. been very kind. Yeah, Jack, beautiful. And Jack has a new CD out, too. Yes. Uh, we recorded with Jack in New York last two years ago. Um, beautiful tune that doesn't get played enough called Old, fo old Folks. <laughs> Nothing personal.
one of the nice things about playing is I get to choose some of my favorite tunes. And this is one of them called on, It's On Green Dolphin Street.
it's been a short evening, <laughs> but we've been having fun. Um, <laughs> great tune that was written by Milt Jackson, the vibes player. It's called Reunion Blues. So we're going to do that for you. Reunion Blues. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Hear your screen up in base. Steve Hobbs. Uh, the swinging fox, Lenore Raphael. Lenore Raphael. Yeah. Woo. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Thank you, Lenore, for being with us. Man, what a... That was just so easy to listen to. Thank you so much, Steve. Hilliard. And Lenore, thank you so much. What do you think? How was it tonight? That was so sweet, so awesome, so good. Thank you. Hope we can have you back again. And thank you all for coming out. And I hope you enjoyed this way to end your weekend here on a Sunday night. And uh, Thursday night, we have John Mayer. He's got his uh, quartet coming out uh, Thursday night. So right here at 7 p.m., come on early for have a little dinner with us here at Campus Jacks. Anyway, again... Thank you all. Bless you all. Enjoy this week. Take this music with you. <laughs>